no gunshots, but they get in low, low. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, so, no, I'm not dead. No, nothing's happened to me. Uh, I've gotten questions of that before. You know, am I alright? And am I still around? Am I alive? Things like that. Yes, everybody, I'm fine. Just been busy with work, and I don't have the ambition to make videos much anymore. But. Uh, it's a Sunday afternoon, it's Sunday, December 3rd, uh, just kind of piddling around, I've been playing a little bit of Gold Rush today, uh, and I've been playing it occasionally, uh, other times as well, but, uh, just figured I'd make a little video here, something to upload, um, do a little bit of an update as well, and then just play some Gold Rush here. So, uh, here is my setup at the moment. Um, I'm running the mobile wash plant yet. I haven't, uh, I can't afford to upgrade to that big wash plant yet. But, uh, maybe sometime in the future. So we got the wave table. Uh, we got the, the heck is it, uh, magnetite. Magnetite uh, trailer here. We got the magnetite separator. Um, I got a bucket full of gold. I need to dump the wave table soon. Um, this bucket's full here on the wash plant. So, so right now what we need to do is I think I got dirt in the wave table. No, I don't. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take the bucket of gold, rich dirt. We're gonna go over here. I'm going to dump it into the uh, wave table here. And then put that bucket back. And we're going to dump this bucket of um, dirt into the separator. Turn it on. And we'll go ahead and put this bucket back. So I am running the uh, big excavator. I do also have the small excavator. I did have the front end loader as well for a while, but I decided to get rid of it. Alright, so we're done processing dirt there. We're going to dump this into this trailer. Uh, okay, the trailer's half full. And then we're going to disconnect the power. Roll it up just a little bit. Get that connected. Get our water connected. Uh, so I haven't mined any gold yet today. Uh, yesterday I uh, did, you know, in game yesterday uh, I had 20 ounces that I sold, made a little bit of money, and then I bought that big excavator. So, all right. So then we got another bucket of gold ready to go. So as soon as that finishes processing that bucket, we'll go ahead and add this one. We'll see how many ounces of gold we get. Six, seven. Okay, so just about seven ounces there. That one dumped in and get this put back. Alright, and we'll let that start processing again. So we should have about 14 ounces of gold, I would think. 13, close enough. Alright, and then we'll just get this put back on over here. And I'm actually going to turn down this game volume a little bit. We'll go like 40%. Ah, uh, we can bring that up just a little bit. Alright, so we got our water connected back up. Now we need to connect our power back over there. Shut that off as well. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Alright. So I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. I know I did. Um, I had the day off, and I went... Uh, we had Thanksgiving at my dad's house, and then came back, and uh, also had Thanksgiving with uh, my mom, and then back to work the next day, uh, and to work with a food coma, pretty much. Um... But, it was a fun day, and, uh, now it's already December, it's crazy to think, uh, and crazy to think that Christmas is in about two weeks, or, uh, three weeks, three weeks and a day, it'll be Christmas, it's insane, um, I've done some work to my pickup lately, um, you know, aside from the tie rods that I had talked about uh, at one point. Um, I haven't made a video showing the tie rods and stuff yet, but I will um, make a video. I might make it later today, uh, or actually, no, I won't make it today, but I will make one soon. Because I do have some new decals coming for the truck. Um, so once I get all of those decals and get them all put on, then I'll uh, probably do a video. Uh, I got like some new 4x4 decals for it. Uh, the old ones are still on the truck. Um, a guy, I, One of the guys I work with, he and I were talking one day. Uh, well, it was the day that I put them on about um, Harbor Freight having a tool that you can put on the end of a drill that will buff out the, uh, you know, buff out decals and stuff. It'll get rid of them. So I might look into buying that. Um, I'm kind of waiting on payday, and I'll be going to Harbor Freight. Uh, we get paid on Tuesday here, and I'm going to be going to Harbor Freight. And I have a few tools that I want to go buy uh, for at work. And um, I want to buy some new mats for the toolbox that I bought that uh, I did a video on. I had bought some that day, but I didn't like those mats uh, at all. They Just the way they sat, I didn't really care for. But uh, I did find online at, or on the Harbor Freight website uh, the kind of mat that I wanted to buy, but I just didn't see it when I bought it. Uh, the one that I did end up getting. So, um, I'm going to get that and put that in my toolbox because right now I don't have one, any mats in there. So, every time I go and open the drawer, uh, tools slide around and whatnot. So, um, you know, everything was organized when I put it all in that toolbox, but now everything's, you know, kind of a little bit messy since. Uh, everything's kind of moving around all the time, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to give any spoilers on the other items that I did to my truck, um, I'll have to wait for that video and see, um, I do have other things that I'm going to have done to it coming up, uh, like after payday here, I'm going to make an appointment for it at work, uh, and have my oil pan gasket replaced. Um, because I found that that was the cause of my leak, uh, of my oil leak on my truck. And so, uh, I found that out when I did an oil change on, on it. <clears throat> so, I need to get that taken care of, and my motor has to be pulled out, uh, or just jacked up anyways, in order to have that done. So, um, it's not something that I would like to do uh, I will just pay them to do it uh, which you know being an employee we get an employee discount on labor and parts so uh, I will just most likely have them you know order the part and also um, um, you know do the repair so Uh, not exactly sure how long of a pro how long of a job that is if it 
can be done in a day or what so I'll have to find that out uh, when I make the appointment as to just how long uh, a job like that takes to do but uh, yeah and uh, so and then I also want to get uh, I want to put a new muffler on it uh, I've been looking at a Flowmaster Super 44 to put on it and then uh, I found one it's a single input so you know single exhaust it attaches to the exhaust in one spot because uh, my exhaust it's only one pipe but uh, it attaches to there and then it has two outputs on it and I'm thinking of getting um, curved down pipes to put you know directly on the uh, muffler and so that would mean that my exhaust is dumping right before my ax or before my axle even um, I've seen videos of people that have the exact same truck as me and <clears throat> that's what they did that's kind of where I got the idea from and uh, it just sounds absolutely amazing uh, I love the way that it sounds it's not like overly excessive loudness it's just kind of a it gives it a little rumble uh, which is basically what I want I don't want some loud truck that you know even sitting inside I can't hear myself think I just want something that kind of gives a little little rumble something that you know like if I stomp on it it will you know make some noise or you know it just kind of has that nice sound to it that's about all that I've wanted um, so that's that's something that I want to do in the future I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it um, I know I've had people a couple of family members asking me what I want for Christmas and so basically I made a list of different parts on Amazon that uh, you know different truck parts that I'd like to get and that exhaust or the muffler and those downpipes were on that list among other things such as uh, cab lights I'd kind of like to put uh, cab lights on my truck um, I know some people might think that's kind of ridiculous but I think they look pretty cool and um, something that I'd like to put on there <clears throat> um, just just for the fun of it I guess really uh, I have thought about looking into light bars but uh, I don't do enough off-road driving to make them worthwhile and you know you can't just like drive around with them uh, on here in town so uh, they really would be kinda pointless for me to buy a light bar uh, maybe in the future because uh, whenever I do buy a new vehicle uh, for driving around um, my the current truck that I have will go to the farm and be a farm vehicle so maybe once it goes up there I might uh, put a light bar on it to use you know for driving at night and whatnot uh, but we'll see that's a ways away yet um, I also have to put new brakes on my truck at uh, some point or have them put on whatever uh, it needs new brakes is kind of the point there um, so that's another thing I have to do to it at some point or another but uh, yeah so a few more things to do to it I also want to get my cruise and horn fixed because uh, at the moment neither one of those works um, the horn act itself works just fine it's just something in my steering you know, the in the switch on my steering wheel that uh, does not work because uh, uh, over the summer my dad and I had to replace the wiper motor on it and uh, it when we were running the test light trying to figure out you know what what was wrong uh, with my wipers uh, at, in one spot I don't remember where it was but switch on come on uh oh am I out of fuel in this I might be uh, I'm thinking that it is yep that must be out of fuel okay so that means we need to run over here and go get the pickup uh, which these 
pumps could also use some fuel. So we're going to go ahead and shut this excavator off. So that way that isn't sitting there drinking in fuel. So we'll get that shut down. We'll shut down the wash plant. We'll go ahead and shut that down. We'll get everything shut down, get everything fueled up, and then um, we'll get back at it. Uh, buying that bigger excavator was definitely a good idea. Uh, it did drain most of my money, which, I mean, eh, oh well. Um, but it's definitely going to pay out in the long run because I can run much more dirt much faster and I can make more gold much faster. Uh, it's going to be about half a million dollars to purchase all of the uh, pieces that are needed uh, for starting tier 3, which is where you run the big wash plant that is, uh, you know, s or that goes right there. Uh, so, it's definitely going to cost a lot of money. Uh, there's a couple of pieces that I can kind of buy, you know, beforehand and whatnot, but most of it I just have to wait until then to buy because you really can't do anything with it before that, so. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll get everything filled up. This trailer's just a little under full, so this thing still has plenty of fuel in it. So I don't know if uh, everybody has seen uh, seen this or not. Uh, give me one sec. Um, there is a new game coming out. The release is December 14th, I believe, uh, called Farmer's Dynasty. Um, if you haven't heard about it yet, go check out Daggerwin on YouTube. Uh, he's been doing videos of the game. Uh, he's got early access to it or whatever and it looks really really cool uh it's got like you start off with a john deere uh model b i think i don't remember if it was a b or an a uh but you start off with an old john deere tractor and a uh little cultivator and your house like you have to actually like rebuild all the buildings on your farm and all of that stuff uh it looks pretty cool I'm definitely going to get it when it comes out. Uh, that definitely looks like a game that uh, would be fun. I don't think it's really going to be like a huge competition for Farm Sim uh, by any means. Uh, but it's definitely going to be a fun game to play from the looks of it. Uh, it's you know got a little bit different of a style to it. And then also the aspect of having to actually um, rebuild your farm and all that. Uh, that definitely looks very interesting. Um, it looks like it's going to be a fun game. Uh, we'll just have to wait for it to come out and see for ourselves, I guess. Uh, from Daggerwind's videos, it looks pretty fun. Uh, looks pretty good, so uh, we shall see, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and move this truck out of the way. We'll shut it off. All right, let's go ahead. And we're going to get everything fired up again. Get everything going so we can uh, make a little bit more gold. I think we'll do another cleanup here and then uh, we'll go to town and... We'll have it uh, smelted, or whatever. Uh, we'll have it, you know, put into a gold bar, and then we'll go ahead and sell that gold bar. And uh, we'll see how much money we end with at the end of the day. I do have a big, at, uh, big loan um, as well. Uh, I was going to say a big amount of money taken, but a big loan... 
uh, taken out. So uh, I am making like thousand dollar payments on that every day. Oh no. I forgot that that bucket was full. Okay. Um, is there dirt in there already? No. Okay. Alright, now we can let that run again. We'll go ahead and put that back. Alright, we got that finished. Uh, we've got 20% in our bucket of dirt. So, oh, I forgot about that. Shoot, I think I just lost an entire bucket of dirt. Or a bucket of gold. Gold-rich dirt. Oh, well. Okay, so... I always forget that... Or, well, not always, but sometimes I forget that you can only dump into it once not twice so then I'll dump into it a second time and then it's like oh no this is full already you're just losing it and it's like oh great thanks I forgot about that alright so we'll let that run its course and then uh, we'll maybe run a little bit more dirt uh, we'll see if we can't get like maybe 30 ounces or so uh, we'll do another cleanup or so. Uh, we're at about 20 minutes, so, well, yeah, we might as well. I don't want to make this video too long. We're up at 20 ounces, so we should be okay. Uh, usually it's about fifteen to $20,000 to sell this much. And then while we're going to town, we'll go ahead and empty our magnetite trailer. Um, it's not 100% full, but it's full enough to where it can be emptied. I don't want to drive off into the pit. So then we, when we come back, we'll better position this trailer as well, because when I parked it here the first time, I didn't dig over here yet, so... Uh, and as you can tell, I am just kind of digging in a big circle motion right now. Uh, I'm trying to leave a little portion of it um, open, or a little bit of it undug for the time being. So that way I got a spot to drive the excavator out on. But um, I might be able to dig now, because I don't have plans to use, you know, switch over to the smaller excavator or anything. So... <clears throat> um, we should be fine because, I mean, I won't need to move anything until there's no more dirt there. So that would mean me moving the wash plant and everything else. So moving the wash plant would free up enough space for me to get that excavator out. Uh, and I could find a creative way to, to get it out right now anyways. So, Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll go dump this. And we'll get a little bit of money from that. <clears throat> Ugh. <clears throat> and then another thing that I have been asked about too is uh, in that last video the ma that I made um, I've had some people ask me uh, what happened to the farm toys because they didn't see them uh, I will also show that in that other video um, and talk about that a little bit. So, alright, we got $12,816. We'll go ahead and dump that out. So, that was about $2,000. It's not, it doesn't pay a whole lot of money, but that's $2,000 that we wouldn't have had before. So, uh, they do have workers in this game now, too. I've hired a couple, well, the first one I hired I didn't really know what I was doing, 
and I accidentally fired him on accident. I clicked the wrong button. I clicked fire instead of cancel uh, to exit out of the uh, hiring part of the tablet thing. And so then that happened, and then I had another one. Uh, I forgot when I had taken out my loan the first time. I forgot to change my installments to more than one. Um, you know, like how many times I pay, make payments on it. So I went way down in the negatives on money, and so then he quit because I didn't have any money. Uh, so now I will be fine. I just need to get, uh, need to have a thing pop up saying, you know, you have a new application. Um, so then I can hire a new employee because uh, they do generate a little bit of gold and having that uh, small excavator around yet will give me uh, you know, I'll be able to use that uh, to uh, put the employee on so uh, no I'm not taking the gold bar with me it keeps track of it so I'm not going to worry about like putting it into the truck or anything because uh, it keeps track of it. You'll see here when we get over to the bank. So. So we'll go ahead and we'll sell that gold bar. It should be a 20 ounce gold bar. Uh, so yeah, you can see my loan. It's 102000 $794 loan. Uh, the daily charge is $1,742. So, all right, 18.9 ounces, selling it for $22,440. So, a pretty good amount of money there. Uh, all right, so that's going to about do it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, video rendering and get it uploading. And then uh, possibly I might uh, get that video made of. Uh, showing you guys the stuff I've done to my pickup and uh, also talking about uh, what the situation is with the farm toys. Thanks for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified when I post a new video. And also make sure you check out down below in the description. I got all kinds of odds and ends stuff down there. And uh, maybe I will uh, make videos a little more often now. We'll see. But uh, we'll have to see. Thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.